Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the first person world yet again, uh, made by Aori. Uh, they do have that series of seven. We've done four, or five, six, and seven. This is number four, so let's get at it. I have done this ages ago, so it will be a nice refresher. I do know we lose some of our old capabilities. As you can see, look at this. We only have auto fire, first person, special terrain, and weapon effectiveness. No more level up structure. But as you can see, this is our current map. We have uh, some beacons of power over there, over there, over there. Uh, I guess that's the only three. So only three main upgrades to collect. Yeah, there we go. Collect items three. And yeah, uh, those should be upgrades of sorts. Um, I can't really remember, but we have one right near the start, so let's definitely go for that. Uh, right in our home base, we also have some uh, anti-creeper breeder, so we want to, you know, fill that up as soon as possible as well. So that will be quite nice to get. A little bit of a breeder over here uh, that we probably can't hold at least early on, uh, but our goal essentially will be to get our beacon of power. Hopefully, get some towers out of it and then sort of cross over to this wall. We basically want to get over here, get this cleared out, and then we can start pushing upwards, probably along the wall, again, trying to keep sort of a solid line of defense. Uh, but ultimately, it's wherever the towers are placed, because you never know. So let's get this going. Uh, let the, the show begin. Uh, let's immediately start by getting our anti-creep generation on in the two spots uh, because it is there it should be on it is glorious to be and let's just defend some edges because edges always need to be defended early on and let's immediately work towards our first goal which is that right there as you can see we can even take it from here which is fantastic uh, we're losing some things but that's okay early on it doesn't really matter we're in a huge 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 deficit and boom there we have it we have our first upgrade it is it's the fabricator Perfect. Okay. I love the Fabricator. I know you love the Fabricator. Maybe you don't. I don't know. You should. It's amazing. It's glorious. It fabricates things. And that's what you want to see. So let's start pushing out right towards the high ground. And look at that. We already have a cannon. We want this cannon. We can fabricate the cannon. We can do it in between making some anti-creep to protect the cannon. But that's perfectly fine. There we go. Cannon has been generated. And we're just going to slowly start to push out. We're still in a pretty huge deficit, so we actually could use the Fabricator to sort of build up our base a little bit. That wouldn't be too bad, but for now, uh, you know, I'll use Fabricator on exterior offenses. Uh, I think that will be good. There we go, we have another cannon. Let's Fabricate it up the, before the creep can get here. Again, it saves on energy of the base, which we are still in a deficit of, which you never want to be in a deficit, of course. Uh, oh, look at that. Another cannon right off the bat. But let's clear off the top. Maybe we can get a cannon and a couple other things because the Fabricator is an AoE. Uh, let's get some anti-creep on top, spread it around. Uh, the cannon even built by itself. Perfect. That means we can, when we fabricate these more... Ugh, I thought the anti-creep would have been enough. The anti-creep was not enough, alas. Uh, let's actually keep the anti-creep on there. Spread it around a bit more. Make sure it is enough this time before we finish our fabrication. Uh, there we go, we got one, but they're encroaching again. Oof, this is... They are really pushing hard, and our guns are not very powerful. Again, we do not have an upgrade system, so we are only as strong as, I believe, the land we control. The more land we control, the more power we will indeed have, so that is actually one thing to note, is power is based off of land controlled. Uh, so we obviously will want to control as much land as possible. A beautiful set of towers. Oh, that's perfect. Let's clear off some more land, and we can fabricate these two bad boys up. Oh, that'll help control this land so nicely. Okay, good, 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 good. Again, it's all about getting that stability. More towers, and again, our base is not in a deficit, which is fantastic. That's what you want to see, uh, because we helped fabricate things, and, you know, the anti-creep, of course, at the very beginning did help pretty substantially. Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, let's, I guess, get some, uh, I guess we can push this way a little bit, because there's another hill. Uh, I was planning on going straight to the wall, but I'm sort of following the towers, and the towers say go this way, so, you know, you do what the towers tell you to do, because I don't know where the towers are. Uh, this is definitely, uh, easier when you, when you do know where the towers are, uh, but I do know high ground, generally good. 
high ground good low ground bad so if we clear this off i'm gonna assume we're gonna get some towers out of it so look at that right there that tower that is a money tower it is gonna do some fantastic things let's get some anti creep out there it should be enough to build by itself because it is only building the one tower which is awesome and that should a help hold and then B with the anti creep uh, really allow us to take this top. Again, look at that, we get a mortar out of the deal. Maybe we'll get another tower or two. Looks like we are indeed gonna get a tower or two. Fantastic. Hold it, hold, oh, all right. Let's fabricate the cannon. Oh. Okay, I did fabricate a cannon up. We will get this mortar online. We did get that cannon online, which is fantastic. And yeah, uh, let's get some anti creep built up because this anti creep will be a barrier while we fabricate this mortar. Because I want to fabricate the mortar because once it's built, it is built for life. You don't have to worry about it nearly as much. It's when it's in its I'm not quite built yet stage that it is really quite the problem. So again, this is in its not quite built yet stage. The fabricator was not working for a few seconds. Uh, I guess it needed to just sort of charge up. Ooh, what was over here? Was that a cannon or was that a tower? If that was a cannon... Nope, it's just a tower. All right. All right. All right. Don't care about you then. Uh, show us a cannon over here, though. A cannon on this side is what we're looking for. More stability. You know what? Right there, that is the money cannon. It's going to... It's going to... Yeah, again, all about holding the land that we have. So this is a good hold. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're pretty stable. The anti-creep is coming out. We do want to head to the wall more than anything else. So I guess stick to the high ground, see where it takes us. We're, we're making some decent progress. We've taken actually a little bit more land, which is nice. So our weapons are just that little bit stronger. Oh, that gets very deep over there. I do not want to deal with the deep creep with these weak, weak, weak weapons. Uh, but hopefully there's going to be a cannon like right here. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we did get the tower. See, I would say a cannon should be right there. That looks like a perfect place. You know, it's on the edge. It's still high ground. Uh, the game disagrees with me, or the map creator. Uh, ooh, but there is one. I will take it. I will take it. I will make it mine. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> really? I, I swear there was not creep actually on it. That, that I feel... Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Whew. All right, keep it going. And again, once it's built, it, A, defends itself, which is fantastic. And by defending itself, it just makes life easier for us. I mean, that's what it's all about, just making things just that little bit easier. So I'm, ooh, okay, okay, okay. And I'm back to where's the cannon. That is our little mini game that we're playing. Uh, let's see if we can clear some of this out and maybe make some headway towards the wall, but in some other areas, because yeah, every cannon that we can build on an edge just extends our edge, and extending our edge extends our power. So again, we want to stay to where it's shallow. Oh, did I lose a, an actual cannon there? Was that the cannon that fell? I thought that cannon was going to be able to hold. Oh no. Well, look at that. Uh, again, look at this bare area. There's nothing really here. I, I don't really... In an auto-build setting, it should be building a lot. You know, it should be always in a deficit. Let it go. I don't care about your deficit. I'm not controlling it. Uh, I don't care about that tower. Uh, towers, I don't care about. Cannons, I do. So hopefully we will find some more cannons along the edge just ooh, that looks like a cannon being built and that will be built naturally so fantastic let's get another cannon give me another cannon here that's what i want to see i'll get some anti-creep just to sort of help things along uh but again i just want some cannons that's all just some cannons show me cannons show me mortars even i'll even take mortars i would even take a shield uh, shh, don't tell anybody. But I don't even think we have red on, so, you know, shield wouldn't do too much. But I would take one. You know, that's, that's the, uh, situation that I'm in. But I will take this little bullet right here. Even more than anything else, make sure he gets built before the wave comes in. And something blew up over here. I'm assuming it's a tower, but I want to just make sure it wasn't a cannon. Uh, because again, the higher it is, high ground is generally cannon ground. So I really just want to see if they placed anything up here, uh, generally. You know, and it makes sense. You know, cannons can 
shoot down a lot easier than they can shoot up, depending. So if it is high ground, you will want the cannon on that versus anything else. So makes perfect sense to me why high ground is the cannon ground. It's just with that in mind, uh, it also causes some slight problems because there are low ground points I, wanna, I want defended without me actually defending it. Uh, we do have what looks like an emitter over there. I'm not sure if that's on this side of the wall or the other side. I do not check that close. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Okay, get the anti-creep in there. Get it in there. Beautiful. Control the zone. Ooh, is that enough? No, that's just a tower. Just a tower. That's fine. Uh, and, again, we will use this to keep pressing our advantage. Uh, totems usually have things around them, too, much like high ground. So I'm going to try and clear this out, and maybe we'll get, you know, a sanctuary, so to speak. I know we can't necessarily populate the totem yet, but maybe it will have a bunch of weapons around it, because totems usually do. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. That is what we... Oh, even look at this. This is... Oh, high ground. High ground. All right, build this up. Get them there. Uh, I guess by clearing so much of the right side, we basically drained this without ever really coming here. So let's kill all of this off, of course. Make sure the, whatever wants to be built there gets built there. And look at this. Oh, look at look at the high ground. Oh, it's it's beautiful. This this is exactly what you want to see. Uh, and we're even gonna straight up just murder this with anti creep and turn it to the light side uh, or dark side, I guess, depending. You know, I mean, they uh, creep is definitely darker. But you never know. I mean, maybe we're evil. You know, maybe this is the creep's home world and we're invading or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, but that's okay, you know. But we now have blue light uh, officially, which is great. Uh, and look at this. Look at the cleansing. And with that, we control more land. With more land, we get more powerful. With more power, we have greater responsibility, I suppose. Uh, but, you know... It's okay to be irresponsible from time to time. I know I'm going to be very irresponsible with this power of this gun. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to let that tower really get, you know, kind of screwed a little bit. But that's okay, because we can then help build it up. They are eating in, but we built it before it finished. All right. All right. Ooh. We even got enough green R to uh, officially get the shield. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that. Uh, so now, as we can see, let's take just a, a quick look at the world. Uh, here we go. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at that. We wanted to take this, head over to the wall, take this, and we're going to start moving up. It looks like, oh gosh, look at that. That is already almost completely surrounded. So what we're probably going to want to do is probably push up to maybe where this lip is, and then cut over to this other totem and back, and then take out that emitter. I mean, we... Oh, they even took that! Look at that! They're pushing on their own with anti creep. That's awesome! Uh, I, did, I was never over there. I mean, did they even need me? Probably not. But that's okay. That is okay. Let's get back to the action. Uh, custom 1. There we go. That was a little weird. I was hitting custom 1, and it was not doing anything. Uh, perfectly fine. But again, that's what I was saying. That's our little lip that we're going to get to and then push over to the side. So let's sort of clear it out. And look at that. We even get a lovely tower cannon thing for ourselves. Uh, I don't know why. I, I, they feel like towers. It feels like a tower defense game. But I know the towers are the ones that generate the uh, Soylent and everything like that. And yes, I do know it's called Soylent. So that's that's even better, right? I mean, I, I, I know that fact. It is great. Uh, I think that breeder might be a little bit far for us to sort of take under control uh, but we can weaken it at least if we you know if that is the thing that is causing uh, massive issues then let's just sort of take it out a little bit I mean we'll put some anti creep there just to sort of cause some strife maybe that'll breed once uh, but realistically we were just doing that so we would have an easier time with cleansing this off and moving to the side i really want to find a tower again it's all about finding towers out or cannons it's all about finding cannons uh that is essentially the nature of our game now we're not finding any so our game is not doing the best but we do have a shield and shields again tend to be bastions of cannons uh, we're gonna lose some stuff here because we're not over there and you know I wasn't the best with it 
Uh, but if we get the shield, I think that will drastically help things. Here we go. Look at that. We even have a cannon there. Oh, just gotta keep correcting myself all the time. Of course, the pylon does not survive. Uh, maybe we should just go for the emitter instead. This is a little deep. It's a little strong. But, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like we can get this. So, we shall see. Get those beatons on. And maybe there'll be some cannons here. This looks like a good cannon area. You know, these uh, little plinths, these drops, these curves, this mountainous area. Apparently the game, again, did not think so. Uh, that was me. Whoopsie. Again, it's all about just finding the right ones. Cannot find any new cannons abound, so... Like, right here. Give me a cannon. Right there. Right there! Why is there no cannon here? I don't understand. Uh, so, it looks like we are going for the emitter. Uh, I think that will be the most effective thing. Again, shutting off creep generation. I mean, you can never go wrong with that whatsoever. So, if we can actually shut this thing off, get it dead, uh, use our fabricator to... There we go. Oh, look at that. The emitter... Or the nullifier is even on our side. We didn't have to cross to the back. I will take it. We'll fabricate it up. It's going to charge super fast. Or... Okay, not super fast, but significantly faster than it would have had we not been here. So, and, oh, look at this. High ground. Okay, you better have some cannons. You better have some power for me. I don't care. I mean, look at this. There, there's no no cannons. No canitude. Uh, this should be littered with cannons, and they just do not want to give it to us. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we are taking the land relatively easily because we have taken the uh the emitter which is great um so it's not able to push back nearly as hard and we're getting to another point of high ground and again high grounds generally mean uh useful things for us so i'm going to use the anti creep this time sort of cover the area hopefully get a couple towers up there i mean there we go there's our connecting tower and we should see, yeah, look at that, a lot of things that can get built up here. Oh, there we go. This this will be the hold that we need. Okay, okay, okay. Annie Creep, do your thing. We're nowhere near a deficit, so I don't really care about building this up at all. I just want to get to the end. Oh, there's, there's even some breeder over there. Yeah, I don't want this. But look at how much better our cannon is doing now that we have some land, too. Oh, that's what we needed to see. Really? Do I need to fabricate this? Is that what you're telling me? Or do I need to go for that? Okay. Uh, let's mortar it first. Be smart. Then we'll do that. Really fill it up. And then we'll take over the rest of the land with anti-creep. And we'll even fabricate to just, again, to hold this area. We want to hold this area. We want it to be ours. We don't want creep coming in here. And we don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to worry about this area. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's just completely take it for ourselves. Okay, there we go. Cleaning it up. It's like Viscera cleanup duty, you know? Uh, I've not actually played that, but I do know about it. And, you know, we're basically just cleaning up the creep. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's how we do. So, the game is afoot. And, yeah, we, we've taken to the wall, which was one part of the plan. Uh, we got some delicious looking red on. Look at that. It's very cra uh, craggy, rocky. You know, it's all that good stuff. Uh, looks like it will be doing good stuff for us. Although, again, I don't think we need missiles. And I don't know if they're going to use any offensive shields. So, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's just get some anti-creep in this area. It should help hold, of course. Uh, build up that cannon. Come on, get up here. There we go. Thank you, Cannon. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, and, ooh, an M-Rift. You know, when you... That's I, that's why we needed the Redon. There you go. Um, I do actually love using the Fabricator on Redon. It's actually probably one of my favorite things to do because you're using it not for energy. The Fabricator can even fabricate other resources. It can fabricate the, uh, the blue light, or not blue light, but... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, my brain is going dead. It's been it's been a long day. A uh, long week of work, you know, so far. But, you know, getting through. Uh, I believe this should be released on Friday. Uh, it is currently not Friday for me. 
but uh, it will be soon, and I am very much looking forward to Friday. Uh, I hope everybody is going to have a wonderful Friday and wonderful weekend. Uh, whatever your weekend is, whether your weekend is Friday or your weekend is Monday or Tuesday or, you know, some, you know, for some people, a weekend is not even a single day of the week. It is more so a day that they work less, you know? So please uh, do remind yourself to try and take some time for yourself whenever you can. Uh, you do deserve it without a doubt. And so do the cannons. The cannons need a break at times. I'm not going to give them any uh, because, you know, I, I am a ruthless, ruthless dictator. So, you know, just don't, don't be a cannon working for me and, and we're all good. Uh, jeez, how? I keep coming in the backside. All right, let's stop them there, and then that will protect our backside. This will be the new front line. Uh, get out of here. Nope, you stop there, just like I said. And there we have it. The back is protected. Never let anyone in your back door, unless you want them to. Uh, don't forget that as well. Uh, you. Ooh. Yes, please, let's get the Annie Creep in there. Again, it is a breeder just for us, so we definitely want that. <sighs> oh, jeez. Such the sigh. Uh, but we did make it. We did survive. We are going up there. And we have another wall here, which is fantastic. Again, walls are probably the best friend that we can have, in essence. Uh, because Creep is not going to come from any other direction, you know? No more backdoor Creep friends. Literally just the wall. So, feeling pretty good about this. Oof. Although that gets way, way deeper in the creeper. But that's okay. We, I think we lost, like, a, a sprayer. Uh, oh, we lost the entire area. <sighs> See? Thin, thinning it out is definitely a good thing, because this will give us a bit more of a, a larger reprieve. Uh, I am going to quick build this, give it some juice as well. Look at that, anti creep juice. Oh, that's what we want to see. Uh, not blue white, anti creeper, of course. Oh, there's an emitter right here. How did I not see this emitter? I wasn't even looking for it. There's your problem. All right, where's the nullifier? Are you over here? Are you over there? It's over here. All right, let's juice it up. Uh, I'm not, I don't even care. It's going to get juiced. And. Boom. We are, as you can see, our fabricator is working significantly faster than it was before, thanks to the amount of land that we control. Look at this. We're able to clean up all these little bits that we were, ha like, not struggling with before, uh, but taking substantially longer. So, land control, very, very importante. Uh, and look at that. We are quite doing it. And, and you know what? I actually want to build this tower real fast, uh, because if this tower's on, this shield should come on. So I actually wanted the tower more than the cannon there, because I want to turn that shield on. Shields are good. Uh, never neglect your shielding as well. There we go. Look at that. The shield is glorious. Uh, plenty of things being destroyed, but thanks to the shield, this area is getting safer. And we want to make a push to the wall. Again, push to the wall. Make those your goals. And... We should be in a pretty good spot. I did let that die just as I got here, but it's okay. It's okay. It shall forgive us. It will come back stronger than ever with more friends to help survive. Beautiful. All right, so how do we push into this thing? Well, there is a super item or an upgrade in there, and there's a mountain Ooh, a mountain that's producing creep. No, thank you. Uh, get out of here, mountain producing creep. There's our problem. A mountain producing creep. Oh, I mean, come on. That's not what I'm talking That's not very friendly or fun. Uh, let's take the mountain. Again, mountains are great because they generally will have the, uh, the tools at its disposal for generating more towers. I say generating more towers, it's just, again, towers tend to be placed there. And if tower tends to be placed there, that's where I want to be. I want them to know that I am here on tower patrol, uh, and let's just do some big thinning. Uh, we haven't really done a lot of just massive thinning, and I probably should have done it more. Uh, I feel very spoiled from the other maps. Where you get, you know, you have an aura that just destroys creep, and you have an aura that 
places down anti-creep under your feet. And you have an aura that does this. And you have an aura that does that. And now I'm just like, not aura destroying the creep. I'm not, you know, doing all of that stuff. And it's just like, oh man, this is, this is, this is a lot of work. Ooh, what did we lose? What did we lose? I don't know, but we're going to power this bad boy up. I don't know why those are set to 10. I'm actually pretty intrigued by what the the map has planned to build there. Uh, quite interesting, in fact. But uh, we finally officially taken this. That's what we want to see. We want to get into this land. So let's, let's really push in and get whatever this power up is. I hope it's good. I hope it's going to really be a game changer for us. Uh, maybe it's the Anti-Creep Destroyer. That would be great. Yeah! Or not Anti-Creep Destroyer, but Anti-Creep Generator. I would love to just passively generate Anti-Creep. I, I have fun with that. Uh, but oof, there's so much creep here. Get out of here. Oh, they're digging into that. Okay, good, good, good. That's how we get in. I thought we had to go around the corner, which we do not. I am quite okay with that, so let's let them dig. Oh, let's get this, of course. Uh, get out of here, get out of here, and take it, you mine. Okay, good, 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 good. And again, this will indeed cut that off, which, again, gives us more land that we're just going to officially take. Uh, can we hold this? I don't know. Because, uh, obviously, we're not holding really anything, but look at that. Uh, can we get in here? We can! We can! What are you going to give us? You're going to give us something good, right? Something the best, the best that ever was. Uh, whatever it is, let us see. I do not know. Hello? It is uh, analyzing. Uh, we do get power up any weapon. Oh, we get to turn everything. We're earn, earn powering our cannons. Okay, that is successful. I'll take it. It's not just utter creep destruction around us, but you know what? You know, earned mortars, earned uh, towers. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe that means our weapons are earned, too. I mean, I'm, am I shooting faster? I don't know. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. But I am quite happy with that. Uh, it's better than not having it, without a doubt. So let us, again, keep pushing. Uh, keep the pressure. Oh, my gosh. There's so much creep. So much freaking creep. Okay, okay, okay. So, we do need to be in an area where there's a lot of weapons. So if we build a weapon, we want to uh, stay near it, make sure it's really, really pumping out the deeps. You know, uh, there we go. Uh, build two cannons there, beautiful. Toss you up, yeah, that's right. Be earned by my magnanimous presence, I believe. I believe that's what the power is called, your magnanimous presence. Uh, so please don't forget that. Um, at least that's what I'm gonna call it, you know. Uh, and let's take the shield. I think that is gonna be where our win condition is in this area. The shield will provide safety. Uh, it will provide. Honestly, it'll provide cannons and mortars because where there's shield, there tends to be cannons and mortars. So, it is up. Uh, let's clear it out, because once it's cleared out... Ooh, it, it will provide an M-Rift, too. That is even better. Okay. Yes, M-Rift, very, very good here. Let's actually let's actually power this M-Rift up uh, with our own juice. Yes, the creep may climb in here, but at the same time, if this M-Rift comes on, it will just drastically help the power generation in this, not generation, but transportation in this area. And power transportation in this area is actually pretty lacking. So if we can improve the power of transportation, that means when we build something, because we have taken some of the land, oh, that is stashing up there. It's probably a stash wave. Yeah, let's, let's cut that down. Cut that down to size. Um, but as you can see, look at that, that's already building quite substantially by itself without us even doing anything. So yeah, let's let's clear stuff off. Oh, oh look at that. Uh, we're gonna need some anti creep on that. That is not gonna hold without it. But with our fabricator, with our anti creep, they were able to indeed hold. Uh, let's clear off the whole thing. Any other good friends? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's fabricate up because fabrication also heals. We are also a healer, yes, yes indeedy duty. we are a healer, and, you know, it's good to heal. Uh, let's toss down, so, oh, there we go, that's what you want to see. You want to see the stash hit 
when you actually see it. Now, we probably should be paying attention to all the stashes uh, because we can destroy them relatively easily. Uh, everything else, not so relative. Oh, there's the other stash. Let's make sure we get that one down as well. Uh, because, yeah, again, that's that's a huge wave that no one but us can truly deal with. Uh, I'm feeling pretty okay with how things are stabilizing, although uh, we are losing some ground over here. Can we even move into this emitter? Because that would be pretty fantastic. Not only would we be moving into an emitter, but it would be getting to a wall. Oh, we have to walk around this wall. Interesting. I don't know if I like that. Uh, but let's see how it goes. We do have the capability to kind of get here. I do want to go to the north, though, because the north has the other font of power, so to speak. Uh, so I do want that. But if we can snag this really fast, then that would be pretty fantastic. Uh, because, obviously, that's another emitter down. Oh, there's the, there's the big wave. We have five enemies left to nullify, so plenty of things that do need nullification. Uh, but also by holding this, we are kind of assisting with the wall, which is important. Oh, they can't get power because they, the power has to go around the wall too. That is stupid. Why is there no power on top? That is very, very poor design, if you ask me. Uh, the fact that there's no power that doesn't go around. I mean, what? Okay, that is not what I was expecting to see. Uh, yeah, that's going to really cut into uh, my action time, because I don't know how... Uh, I guess they're holding? Uh, but we are also providing quite the earn powerment, so to speak. Uh, we are earning quite a lot of towers right now. Uh, oh, but we're almost to the stash? Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Uh, if we can shut out, shut off the stash, ooh, that'd be nice. Get out of here, we're at your stash already. Oh, uh, the stash is in a really bad place, because the stash is in, uh, the web. Is It is in the mesh. Uh, but look, yeah, see, they, they can't hold this. Uh, I think we need whatever that last superpower is. Uh, but I want to stick to the high ground. So if we can stick... This one is not in the mesh, it looks like. So let's start... Ooh, and there's literally just an emitter right here. All right. Okay, swapping sides. We're going to lose pretty much lose the entire other side. But look at this. Look at this. We can just completely cleanse this up. Get some mortar shells going. And yeah, we can just take it to this wall. I mean, come on. No brainer. Lots of land that we can gain. Uh, plenty of things that we can build. Should have thought about this earlier. Again, you get I'm kind of a little hyper focused on uh, a non entity, so to speak, which is understandable. Please tell me it's understandable. If it's not understandable, you can tell me that too. I appreciate every comment that I get and hope you enjoy. You know, I, that's what it's all about. Uh, it's all about just having a good old time, and that's what I'm doing having a good old time. There we go. There it goes. The destruction probably... Oh, this, this wall is still holding, which is good. So that's good. We are holding the wall. We are going to go straight for this stash. Come on, stash. You're building up. Oh my gosh, the waves are so big. I don't know how any of these cannons are sort of holding up without us. These are monstrous waves, but there's the stash. It's going to pop in just a second. We are basically there with our mortar, which is most important. So we are eliminating uh, that threat, so to speak. But yeah, there's a, there is a lot going on here. Right, get a mortar here. Let's, again, take the high ground. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. This this is this is a lot of good stuff on our side. So we definitely want to anti creep up this, fabricate whatever we can, get them built, get them going, uh, because they should hopefully have the juice, especially if we're standing here, giving them that glorious aura. I'm gonna see if I can pop the stash early by doing that. I don't know. Uh, stashes should pop after a set amount of time of not having creeper under. Ooh, there's a. There's a lot of generation. Oh. oh my gosh, everything is just dying around us. Oh, jeez. 
everything is just dying around us. This is a whole issue, and there is the stash wave. Oh, and the stash wave is now getting crimsoned. Okay, okay, Crimson, get out of here. We, we have the answer to you, which is anti-creep, but the problem is we don't really have the capability to push into you as easily as I was hoping. Um, I'm trying to fight so many fronts because I'm like, oh, this is, this is a pretty target, this is a pretty target, everything is a pretty target, uh, but we're not really making much progress. So if we can prevent that from just breeding for a little while, I hope that we can sort of thin out some of the stuff around here. And if we can thin out some stuff around, maybe that is what we need uh, in order to sort of win. It looks like it does look like by taking this out a little bit, it is drastically reducing some of the other areas. So that's actually really, really nice. Uh, the stash is growing yet again, but it has not yet popped, but this did. Yay. Keep it filled. Come on. Uh, fantastic. The stash is about to pop. Let's get the mortar on it right away. And look at that, this, oof, that did not go down as fast as I was hoping, but it did go down pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, all right, we, we're right here. It's right here. We can definitely do it. Come on. Actually, where's the wall? There's the wall. Maybe we do some wall plays. As I've said before, going to a wall is actually very, very powerful. Again, it cuts off sort of a refillment it does not refillment but it does seem like creep tends to if they if it is connected very well uh it refreshes itself very easily whereas if it's cut off it's ve much harder for the creep to sort of stand on its own two legs so to speak um so yeah going to the wall might actually be the play here because we can start building these up uh, getting some action here, getting some cannons over here. We now have separated this off. Now, it does not like it, uh, I'm sure. And that's fine. Uh, it doesn't have to, uh, because we are now... Oh, that is a big ol' stash, but we have any creep. Oh no, don't kill our friend. Don't kill us. Oh no. We had it. We had it for a second. Everything was basically built. Everything was going well. And then that stash popped and basically took us down. But I'm filling, I'm filling it with anti-creep. Uh, we are getting towards this emitter, which is great. And the emitter does have a crimsonator. So if we can, you know, zoom in here, uh, cut them off yet again. Uh, again, our gun is, our gun is pretty strong. So, we do have that going for us. Uh, the Crimson is dying substantially well, as it should to our anti-creep, which is fantastic. Uh, we are taking land, which again, is very, very good as well. The, we've cut off the stash, even better. And with the stash being cut off, uh, I don't think there's any actual generation over here. So let's make sure we cut that off. Uh, the stash pop the stash did pop it is down oh oh happy days the stash is down oh we're moving we're moving and grooving uh this is taking a, oh and there's even breeder over here look at that look at all of the secretive breeders i should have known about uh i did not even turn on special ground look that's what i didn't see oh man it's all of their special special ground but while we did lose that little area over there, it did serve a pretty solid per uh, purpose. And we got our, our final super upgrade. So, mortar, like, oh, the ultimate mortar. Give us something good. I don't know. Uh, this is quite unique. It'll take, uh, it'll take a few days. But we get a significant increase to our fabricator. Oh, I mean, all right. It's not quite the super upgrade I was hoping for, but I do love the Fabricator, so it's it's the upgrade we deserve. Like, right there, boom, let's... Okay, yeah, that nullifier. <laughs> that nullifier does get up there pretty quick. Um, okay, so that is uh, the upgrade that we have received. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just pop up a mortar. Mortars, we're ta you know, they take longer than cannons. Cannons, boom, you're done. Okay, yeah, this is the super Fabricator. 
I mean, I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie. Because all we have to do now is barely look at something. It can be right next to the creep, and it's built and full of ammo. So you know what? I'll take it. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more, like, coolly weapony, you know? But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I'm pretty okay with that as well. I mean, again, I love the Fabricator, so it's something that is near and dear to my heart. If I'm gonna get a pretty cool weapon upgrade, I'm happy it is that. Uh, although, I'm happy if it's that, if cannons exist. Um, but being able to say, look, there's a cannon, and then, hey, there is a cannon, that's actually pretty substantial to me. Um, that helps so... Actually, that helps a lot. Because those cannons that I saw before, I didn't want to spend the time to fabricate up, and now I'd be silly not to. Like that cannon, it's right next to the creep. Now it's alive. Uh, or built, I guess? Not alive. You know, it's not Johnny Five or anything on us. So, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Stash eliminated, which is great. Um... Yeah, feel, I'm, feel, I'm feeling much, much, much better. Uh, this is much calmer. Oh, they even took our, our wall here. But you know what? Now that we can build stuff basically instantly, uh, I think now we're able to make this push here. Uh, because we've taken, you know, this, this large portion. Uh, we've taken even this generation here, which is huge. But while I do want to go over there, I want this shield more than anything else at the moment. Again, shields will have mortars. Oh, it even has uh, cannons and, again, another M-Rift. So let's pop this up. Look at that M-Rift build. Look at how fast we can build a freaking M-Rift. Yeah, that's, that's uh, not dubious at all. Uh, that's a lot of red on that we just poured into them. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get this stash down because it is no longer needed. I'm done with your stash. I got cannons right next to you. I'm gonna build it up before you can destroy it with your mesh. That's right. And you can just see, even our, even our machine gun is just eating through the creep. Uh, even the thickest layers now, which is fantastic. Our mortar is probably just decimating things, uh, just like this. Uh, and we're gonna go, oh, there we go. Let's get rid of that, boom. And let's get to the top of the hill. Again, top of the hill, king of the hill, that's what we do. You get to the top, you take it, and you just say, Hey, mortars and cannons, how you doing? Oh, you're alive? That's what I wanted to see. Thank you very much. I'm going to go to this wall now, and we have completely separated another portion of the map uh, behind us. You know, there's some problems. There's some problems, but that's okay. In front of us, there's some problems. Uh, apparently we have no way to get power up here, and that is the primary issue at the moment. Uh, of course, power is an issue, but we'll sort it out. Uh, let's actually just charge them up. Give them some, give them some juice that they need, uh, from our own little cannon. Uh, and hopefully we'll get a tower over here, which will be able to feed them. There we go. We do now have a feeder tower. They should be a little bit more self-sustaining. And hopefully with us nearby... You know, we are giving them our earn power just by existing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty okay with that as well. Uh, I think this emitter should fall. If we can find where the nullifier is... Oh, wow, they really pushed in over there. Oh, that popped again. Jeez. But that's fine. Let's just take out this... Let's just take out the, the emitter. Let's not worry about the other side. There's the nullifier. It's right there. Supercharge it up. Done. Let's uh, get the anti creep built in, and boom, we have taken that. Let's take our hill, and this net will no longer have any problems with getting juice because we have the side. Uh, what are you doing? Get out of here. No one likes you, Stash. You're not even good in pack maps. I'm sorry. I hate to tell you. I mean, you have a use. So I'm not going to say you're completely useless, but very limited. Very limited stash. You know, you're walking on thin ice, and yeah, here we go. Oh, there was some anti-creeper here. Or there was some... I really should turn on the uh, the special land, but I'm, I'm in too deep now. You know, I made the decision not to, and I, I'm, like, sticking by it. 
probably in a very poor sense, uh, but, but that's what I'm doing. You know, I've, I've made the decision. I did it poorly. I'm sticking to it. I'm sure there's going to be some generation over here. There's always some generation in the back, of course. Uh, but there is a shield back here, so... And, and a couple of towers. So let's build one up. Let's even move over here, build another one up. Again, they do actually get power, which is fantastic, because we have built along the back wall. There is no actual generation back here. I'm surprised by that. Uh, that's good to know. Oh, there's some over here. There we go. Give me, give me a power. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and we've basically encircled these emitters, which is great, uh, because... Let's do this. If we do this, does this give us the right to just take all of this before it gets rebuilt? Oh, it does. We've done it. We've taken the map. It is ours. The land is ours. All that is left is a glorious sound of mesh destroying things on it, as mesh does. Um, I want to destroy all the connections of the mesh, because that should sort of eliminate it. Uh, oh, there we go. Supercharge that. Boom. And last but not least, just a little bit more mesh in the way. Uh, but again, this shouldn't be too terrible from here. Uh, there's the nullifier. Get it up. All objectives complete. Let's let's clean up a bit more of this mesh. It is annoying. Do, 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 do. And we've done it. Oh. We are no longer shooting. We have taken the world. It is ours. I will take it. I do like that improved fabricator. I changed my mind on it, so thank you very much on that. Let's let's check our time. Not sure how I did. Hopefully okay. I don't know. Usually these maps are fairly consistent. But, let's see. 43 minutes, 42 minutes, 39 minutes, 36 minutes, 39 minutes. Well, let's go by the th 43, because we are just looking at basically the final completion of the map. 43 minutes, pretty decent. Got one that beat us over here. Yeah, I mean, I'd say <clears throat> above average, you know, I'll take it. Got another beat us, but, you know, for this, not too shabby at all. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm glad to know that this was not just a longer map uh, in general. You know, because or not just longer feeling to me, <laughs> I should say. Um, so yeah, feeling pretty good about that. I'll take it. Not too bad. This has been Auto Build First Person Shooter Four. There will be one, two, and three, and then other Auto Build maps. Uh, I'm gonna try and do an Auto Build map every like two, uh, three or four days or so. You know, keep them coming sporadically. You know, do a pack map. Try and do a regular map if I can. Try and mix and match. But thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate everything. All the comments, uh, even negative ones, I try to reply to. And I'm a very positive individual, so I will reply positively with it being, you know, a positive comment or a negative comment. I appreciate it. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time. Take care.